Hi everyone, this is Studio Slave, and in this video, we're going to use multiple instances of the ADSR sample manager to put a quick beat together and show you a few more of the more advanced features. So let's start off by firstly getting a kick into the project. So we can do that either by searching kick or using the kick tag. So I'll just go down to K, hit kick. And what we can do is we can just hit this to preview the sound. Or we could just drag the sound into the audio track that we have. So I can either drag from here or I can drag from here. So let's go for here. From the sample list pane straight into the audio track. And likewise, if I go across to the arrangement, I could also do the same within the arrangement as well. But in this case, let's carry on working in MIDI. So what I'll do is I'll get rid of that. I'm going to create a very basic MIDI track. And we'll hit play. So what we can do is we can preview the different samples by clicking through them. And what we can do is change the MIDI mode to stop because it's just a simple one shot that we want to hear. And then we can control the length of the sample using this note length here. We could also turn off loop and what this will do, it will stop any loops from being in this sample list here, like this one here. We might not want to be searching for kick loops, so I can just uncheck that. And then what we could also do to choose a kick is we could use the random function. So I'm happy with this one we have here. So what we'll do is we'll create a new MIDI track. So we'll go to create, insert MIDI track, and we see we have the ADSR sample manager already loaded onto it. And I did this by getting a new MIDI track, adding the sample manager, which is found in the plugins ADSR sample manager. I then right click the tracks title bar and we go to save as default MIDI track. And then that will overwrite the previous settings. So in most cases, you'll usually have a simpler there. But what you can do is overwrite that. So now every time I create a new MIDI track, I'm going to have a ADSR sample manager. And just to demonstrate this, I'll use the keyboard shortcut command shift and T. And you can see we've got a whole bunch of sample managers. So let's just rename these. We'll see how we get on like this for now. So we've got our kick. Let's now move across to our bass. And we're going to be searching for basses. So we'll use the bass tag. We've got 294 available. So we can preview by clicking, we can also press the record arm on the track and we could play some notes. We could do that in time with the track to see what would work. But in this case, I'm not going to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy the kick MIDI across, I'm just going to extend this note so it's a full sustained note. And then we can just press play on that clip and we can audition in time with the rest of the project. So I quite like the sound of this one. It's got a nice little bit of space in between and this will nicely side chain with the kick. So we could also add the side chain onto that. And now it's been tagged with the side chained tag. So if we press play, what we can also do is we can change the sample start point and this will affect the groove. In this case, we'll leave this at the start. I'm going to favorite this because I like this bass loop. So let's now move across to our loop one. And we'll find something that we can throw in the mix here. So I could either search for loops, but in this case, I'm just going to turn one shots off. I've now filtered my entire library by the loops. So let's just audition some of these. And what we could also do here, even though these are loops, we can easily just audition a small portion of this by changing the loop mode to stop and now 
it's only going to play for as long as we hold down a note. So that's quite a nice sound. I can move the sample start point and isolate a different sound. And play different pitches as well. So that's quite nice. I like the sound of that. I'm just going to add that as an extra little shaker. So let's draw that in. Let's try and get that extra little delay that we've got on there just by pulling this out ever so slightly. So we've added a nice bit of groove to this just by cutting it off slightly shorter on the last hat. And then we'll go on to our clap. Search for claps. Once again, what I'll do is I'll just copy the kick MIDI. And it's a great little shortcut because I know I can just get rid of these MIDI notes, hit play. Let's shorten that a little bit. I want to have more control over the decay of the sound. and maybe pull it forward ever so slightly. And now I can place this in my own space. So what I've done is I've sort of moved the reverb that was on the sound. It was not too bad, but what I can now do is I can add my own reverb and put it in my own space. And then let's try a few different notes. Sounds quite good where it is. So let's add a few more loops. In fact, what we'll do is we'll just drag another sustained note all the way across. And we're looking for a loop. We could even search maybe for percussion. And you see how it knows what tag I'm looking for. If I had multiple tags there, they'd come up as well. So if I just type in F, we've got FM or FX. We'll go back to percussion. This sounds brilliant. Let's see how it sounds in context. Let's also now add a shaker and just speed this up a little bit. So some of these have actually got a lot of low end on them, especially for shakers. I'll, I'll check out this sample as well. Okay, so that's got a bit too much low end on, so let's be real efficient and just quickly cut some of that out and I'll just copy that as well onto that sample let's just remove some of these one shots These both sound good, so let's see which one sounds better. So 
So in this case, I'm going to go for the top sample in the list just because it sounds a little bit more full and it's going to help beef up the loop a bit more. Let's now create one more track and we'll try and find a synth to get into place. So let's just rename this and then we'll jump into the sample manager and search for synth in the search bar. So I actually know one of the sample packs I've got in here is the left wing encody one. So I'll just type LK. And I can see I've got the LK samples here. And I know I'm looking for a one shot, so. So this one sounds pretty good to me. What we'll do is we'll drench it in reverb. And we could even get some delay on there for good measure as well. And then we'll just play in some notes and see what's going to work. Make sure we've got stop on. This now means we can either play a small part or a long part. And then we can just hit record and jam something in. Let's just tidy that up by quantizing it to the 16th notes, pulling it slightly more in time, and then we'll just grab a part that sounds okay. So now that we've got the synth in place, you can see how quickly we can build the foundations of a track using the ADSR Sample Manager plugin. So first we got our kick in, which was just drawn notes. We then got a few other parts in by playing the entire loop. And then we also managed to add a few other percussive parts as well by actually using the note length to control what part of the samples was played and the sample start bar. So there's plenty of opportunities for using this plugin in a creative way. And what we'll do is we'll look a little bit deeper in the next video at other ways we can use this and the different MIDI modes.